it's a long track. Yeah, yeah. It actually moves me yeah. when I listen to it. It's, uh, it's really sad, but it's a lot of... Um, and it's what it said, it's longing. It's a lot of, uh, like an aching heart, longing for something. You know. But still some great hope somewhere. And uh, it has some positive energy in it anyway. So, and actually, it's interesting. I didn't uh, imagine that it would do that. But it kind of when it when the guitar comes, when it, when the kind of refrain comes, it's it's. I got a little bit chills even. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm really honest here. The first thing was that I was around Christmas time that the same year that it has been passed. I was just sitting at my piano and just trying. Just playing around a little bit, and there, somehow it, this ballad to Jespern, that ended up to be the ballad for Jespern, the ballad for E, just it felt a little bit. It just came up into my hands. And also, I uh, experienced that later on as well. That it sounds like a cliche, but it felt like I just put my hand into streaming water and I like picked up the pieces like like fish you know like it, the old piece, all the songs were there but I just they just came up into my hands and my body I don't know it's really hard to explain where music comes from but that was my feeling it's very honest it's a very honest album it's very personal for me it's very yeah. not a, a it's like a very emotional album, you can say. So yes. It's from my my inner depth. Really, really. Okay. This is my way of uh, doing music, and this is my. In a way, I kind of took my third that was in the trio and built a new environment around it, okay. and that could, uh, in a way, try to fulfill my uh, my musical world. Yes. So I would definitely, definitely try to continue that journey with this band. And it's been a, been hard times, but it's it has been nice moments when uh, when me and Don and Oke has shared you know old memories and and yeah laughed about that. You, you remember uh, things. great things that we that we did mm. together. And, so that's that's has also been nice, of course. But yeah, so there's there's mm. positive things. Yeah, no, that are. <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, there are. So we. Uh, so it's, it's great that we, we we have each other for that. We can share. Yeah. We, we have all the memories and we can talk about. It. Yes. One day, it, it's, when I walked out, it was more color in the in the world again. That, that actually that yeah. that was an experience I had as well. Right. It was like a like kind of a, a thin curtain was yeah. drawn away. Yeah. So when, when you get this kind of uh, blow, it takes a while for you to to bring yes. bring back your your mm. all that sense of uh, what you, whatever witness or humor or whatever. It's because it's, a, it's yeah. such a big lid to lift off. Yes, it, yes. so it takes a while to. Yeah. To bloom. Again. What's the first sound that you ever heard? Um. Yeah. The fire alarm? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that sound. I'm sure, I know. <laughs> Not a song. No, no, not really. <laughs> That's great. Wow. But but actually, my, my, when I when I really start to think about yeah. it, it's it's um, the sound of um, because I was in hospital a lot when I was a kid. When you're a kid in hospital, you have this um, when you're in the bed, you have these sides in metal when they mm -hmm. like a. Yeah. To say, like, yeah, you know, no, I can't remember the word. whatever. Yeah, that so, that, that sound yeah. of that metal, yes, uh, I, I have in my head actually, and also the, the, the smell and the uh, kind of taste in the air from that metal. That, that's but that's a lot, that's the sound that I, uh, oh I don't know, I don't know if, it, if it's the first sound, but when you when I start to think, it's 
one of the first things that pops up. So it might be that. Do you like that sound? It double sided actually, I think. Yeah. Because um, you know when you're in hospital you're being helped a lot, they treat you and you they fix you, but of course there's a lot of uh, uh, bad sides mm. to it as well. Mm. So. But that's one sound. Um, but then f it's really hard to. There's a lot of that from that time, from, from, from the hospital life actually. You know, the, the, when, you, how do you, when you close the doors, how that sounds. And, yeah, and actually this kind of alarms going so, on and yeah. stuff, you know. Uh, but otherwise, uh, but that much, much later, later sound, or not sound, it's more rhythm when I was sitting in the, in the back of a, an old bus, yeah. you know, when it, the, the engine was running, yeah. uh, but standing still, I don't know the name in English, you know. Oh, when you're... No, it, it's just standing for, to, to standing still, but the, 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 the engine oh, is running. Oh, idling. Idling? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. And I was sitting in, in the far back and I just, it was the most swinging thing I ever heard, you know, the, the rhythm of because the, because it was... Doo -doo 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 -doo. It was amazing, it was the best. But how did you know it was swinging? I just felt in my body, it was, uh, the rhythm was fantastic, it was just... What, well, how was it then? No, it was like a, like a beat, like a, you know, irregular kind of beat, you know, when, when the motor is running, it's like... So it was like, very rhythmical because it's, you know, it's the same speed all the time, so it's... it's I can't really explain, but it's the, one of the most um, amazing moments of, of music I, I heard. Actually. But that's what your music is like. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, because I, it's, I, because you, you didn't really expect it, and, and it was really. I was. It's, it's amazing. I like that kind of stuff when when you hear things. It's not music, but it's stuff around you that you hear. That kind of. Yeah, it gets to you. Well, I don't know the age, but maybe seven or eight. I, I was, I had like the, a drum kit. I wanted a drum kit, you know, on the top of my Christmas list <laughs> for two or three years before I got oh, one. Did you? Yeah. I, if only they'd known, they'd got it like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was happy, maybe that, but this that you have read in all the other interviews, but my father was a painter, yeah. so I had his own bucket, yeah. so I could build it. That yeah. set, and I was happy about that. But also, my mother, I remember, you know, maybe you read it as well. I was playing with toothbrushes yeah. in my bathroom. And, and uh, but the trans transition to musician, I don't know. But of course, it started there. So but I, I think that was the transition. Yeah, it yeah. might be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's right. Yeah, it, absolutely. That's absolutely. the point. Yeah. So and but I still can't really I still don't know why it ended up being drums why I was drawn yeah, to the drums I, I'm, I'm trying to think about this I can't really recall it. But which is the instrument that you go to if you are chilling? Would you go and play your drums if you were chilling, or would you play the piano? Do you think? I think piano. Yeah, if I have to choose, I choose the piano. But also guitar. I love guitar. I'm not a guitar player, but it's great just to sit too. It's acoustic. No, electric. Mm -hmm. Or it could be both, but I have electric in my rehearsal space and I just can sit there to just to, you know, try out stuff. So I, I'd rather play drums together with people than, than on my own. Okay. In a way. Yeah. It could be fun as well, but now it, it's more like that. What do you think about when you're sort of like chilling? So on a normal day when you get off and you don't necessarily have to do something. Mm. Uh, I know definitely what I'm doing, but my, what I'm thinking is another thing. Because I'm, I'm, I love cafes, so I, you know, to take coffee at a cafe and read a paper or a book or whatever, and just sitting there, uh, say, contemplate. contemplate yeah. 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 Well, what I'm thinking about, I'm not sure. Um, hmm. <laughs> nice. Sorry? Nice thing. Yeah. Thinking. The last couple of years I've been thinking, thinking so much of what to do in my future, so um, if I'm going to continue playing or what, what, 
what it, what else I can do. So why? yeah. Why did you have to think about that? I think I always wondered what I'm going to do because I did, wasn't really sure that I'm going to, going to be continue playing all the time, even before what happened. So, uh, so I I think I always had to revisit it or revisit that mm -hmm. that area, what I'm going to do, and and I asked the only thing I I come up to come up is that uh, like I can't really. I don't really know what to do, so I do something mm -hmm. while I'm thinking of what yes. to do. So that's. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and. Yeah, try to feel you know. When you when you feel like uh, life is kind of meaningless, okay. you could in a way it's totally meaningless. Mm -hmm. So you have to fill it with things, mm -hmm. and uh, that's what I'm trying to do, and what I'm thinking about to do, and what I'm doing. Mm. So, so it's just in a way a, a sad thought that you have to fill something that is empty, but it, it's it's also nice. You can fill it with nice things. As well. uh, I'm going to continue to to try to try to to be in music and, and try to to write some new stuff that I can communicate to. Mm. The music is very personal. It's mm. very kind of naked, mm. and uh, and I also had got that connection directly when I saw mm. the picture. Yeah, the music is very emotional, very much me personal. And why don't show it into my bare mm. skin that this is really me? Mm. So that that's the meaning okay. for me. Yeah.